my god. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I'm discussing having children with Gaius Cassades in a 20 year old video game. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the channel where we play games in the most immersive ways possible. It is currently the 4th of July here in America, at least for me right now while I'm recording. And I figured, what better way to spend my god-given American freedom, my F-150, American freedom, than by attempting to have relations with Caius Cassades in Morrowind. So that's what we're doing today. What's your name? <laughs> I just, okay, well, see, like I said, we only play games in the most immersive ways possible. So we have before on the channel actually done a romance mods similar to this. We did that in Skyrim. Uh, this is also a speed run. We're attempting to be the first ever Morrowind Caius percent seduction. I don't know what we'll call this speed run category. I've played this intro so many times going back to my childhood. This was my first Elder Scrolls game, if you guys didn't know that. So I could probably word for word remember the entire intro. We've been expecting you. You'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this and the choice is yours. So we have to pick a class, right, that'll give us the most optimal chance of achieving coital relations with Caius Cassades. Personality, luck? I think we'll go luck. Personality and luck. You know, we gotta get lucky. This is such a strange class build. This is, I do love this about Morrowind, how you can just build out. <laughs> we can roleplay to the point where we're creating a class specifically for the point of having sex with Caius Cassades and possibly getting pregnant. Uh, I guess mercantile. I'm gonna pick anything that involves just talking to somebody. Uh, is there a one-handed skill in this game? Oh, uh, actually, it's Caius. We'll need two-handed. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm not making any more jokes. I can't believe this is how this is how I'm spending my July 4th. This is how I'm spending the holiday. It's like the most important holiday in American history, and this is what I'm doing. So how did what did you do for 4th of July? Uh uh. <laughs> alright, alright. It's time to get going. I gotta actually get into this. We'll go with long blade. Not the only long blade will be uh <laughs> More jokes. I don't want to get thrown around by Caius. We're going to have to go athletics. Enchant, we have to have an enchanting personality. I don't know if Orc was the right call. I, I think Orc has like a detriment to their personality. I probably should have picked somebody else. Actually, I might have to change from Orc. I want to have the best opportunities and this is technically a speed run. This is Caius Cassade's wife, soon to be wife. Friends with benefits. Yeah, personality is now at 85. Speechcraft is 45. I, I don't think my name quite fits. Uh, apparently this right here, this action, is offensive to some people, but on this channel, we steal the limeware platter. Do you think the you're doing? Now that is a face that Caius Cassade should be excited to see. Alright, so the person ahead, we're supposed to talk to is up here. Something? Who is this? Why are they on the floor? I'm listening. <laughs> There's so many people trying to talk to me right now. Who are you? Wait, she's dead? Bouquet of flowers? Is this gonna be stealing? Oh. Whoa, wait, oh, wait. Everybody relax. Everybody just calm down. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't get to save my game yet. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I need to go to jail. Oh, somebody arrest me, please. Holy shit. Oh, God, this is off to a disastrous start. Are they gonna attack me if I go back in? I thought they were dead. I thought it was legal in Elder Scrolls to take something off of somebody's body if they're dead. You violated the law, Chad Thunder. <laughs> I paid my gold. Everybody calm down. Jesus, I'm almost dead. My speedrun time is in shambles. Your end wait, is wait, here. wait. Everybody relax. What guys, guys, want? guys, guys, guys. This is not how it's supposed to go. This is not how it's supposed to go. Do I have any save points? Oh man. Okay, okay. I can get in there. Hopefully not get killed. Talk to who I need to talk to. Go. Everybody relax. Everybody relax. What do you think? Okay, I'm talking to them. Really? Mademoiselle, you have the capacity to, to seduce others. Please take this book as a guide. How to marry someone has been added to your inventory. Goodbye. Okay, go, go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, go, go. This is ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess I can't sell the Limewar platter to them. I'm gonna have to sell it to somebody in Balmora. <laughs> Time to go. That actually got my heart racing. Oh, that was like... Okay, wait, let's check out this book. The carnal act is a privilege and fundamental moment in the life of a couple. It's a characteristic behavior of the sexual instinct and the search for satisfaction. It's quite obvious that two people have to agree and be disposed to desire each other. Nevertheless, the carnal act is not possible all the time. <laughs> Hey, bro, you should have seen that girl I was with last night. Yeah, we totally carnal acted upon each other, bro. It was wild. <laughs> I feel like I should go get nice clothes, though, before before doing this, right? Like, I mean, should I dress for the occasion? No! 
Oh, the guard, he took my limeware platter. All right, we are primed and ready for the ball. We look so good. There's no way Caius can turn us down. In terms of speed running, not that effective of a run though. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. First dates. Ah, greetings. Ah. What shall we talk about? What shall we talk about? Well, we got a lot of things to talk about, Caius. How are you? And you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Oh, I'll let you look at this package, all right, Caius. All right, romance. I told him that he's pretty cute. Okay, so here are my stats. Friendship, romanticism, eroticism. We have to become friends first. Talk about the weather we're having, talk about books. Caius seems like a books guy. I really liked that book. Um, let's talk about the weather. I like it when the weather is fine. Oh my gosh, he's so introspective. This book is extremely rare. So in order to build up friendship, we can only talk about books and the weather. <laughs> There's not much else going on in the land of Morrowind, I guess. We can't talk about the massive volcano controlled by a god that's ready to just destroy the entire world. Let's talk about some drugs. You got skooma right here. I'm ready to hit the pipe. So look at the stars or have a candlelit dinner. Let's look at the stars. We'll start slow. All right, we're leveling up our skills. Great. Caius, before long, you're gonna want us so bad. Flirt. Saucy wench. Whoa, what? Caius? Oh, he enjoyed it. Oh, oh, he enjoyed it. I thought he was insulting us. Make doe eyes. You are very moving. Oh, Caius. Let's go back to talking about books again. Do you like Harry Potter? Let's have dinner. Yeah, we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on a date. Caius. Why am I in third person right now? Let's sit down to dinner. Wow. Caius, I'm falling for you. Romantic companion? What are we doing? Come with me. Wait, he can follow me? Oh my god! I have Kai's Cassades! <laughs> Alright, we'll stand out in the rain for 24 hours. It's still raining. We've just been standing here the whole time getting rained on. Talk about more books. It's a series of five volumes. The first of which is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The second, Chamber of Secrets. Alright, we haven't really moved much. Let's go, let's go for a walk. Come on, Caius. Everybody make way. Make way, this is my boy. No, shut up, shut up. This is my boyfriend, all right? He'll beat your ass. Get him, Caius, help. Caius, defend me. <laughs> defend your lover. I'm not sure what spell you're casting, but it's not working. Ow! Here's how I think it works. Romanticism can only be half as much as friendship, and eroticism can only be half as much as romanticism. So I have to keep building up friendship in the weirdest way possible. Only talking about books and the weather over and over and over again. And eventually, I'm going to know every single book and every single weather event that Caius Cassades is interested in, doesn't like, likes, whatever it be. I'm gonna know the entire catalog of this man's brain regarding books and weather, and then he will fuck me. Oh, wait, I unlock new options. I don't need to talk about the weather and books. Finally, after mashing those like a hundred times, I can tell a joke. That's really funny. God, how many times do we have to have a candle at dinner? I mean, by like date three, Caius, this already should have been happening. I'm a little disappointed. Let's look at more stars. Look at more stars. Continue just looking at the stars, Caius. Oh, we can gossip? Is that really possible? It is. I'm telling you, she was laying on the floor in a Rails trade house. This is an even longer grind than graduating college in Skyrim was. You have gotten your... Pure... My... Excuse me? All right, right now it's just grinding. We're just grinding it out. We'll wait a couple more days. I've been going at this for two weeks in game. Plan to have children together. It's a little bit early for that, but hey, we'll go for it. I'll be just as happy with a girl or a boy. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I'm discussing having children with Caius Cassades in a 20-year-old video game. <laughs> he hasn't said a word in a while. He's just been standing here. He hasn't really done anything. You aren't nearly as committed to this relationship as me, Caius. Are you sure you're taking this seriously? <gasps> Kiss on the cheek. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I'm gonna keep talking about children and then just randomly out of nowhere ask him about the blades. These blades agents offer training. Not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. <laughs> All right, we're sitting at friendship, long-term 74, romanticism 53, eroticism 37. Declare my love. <gasps> Caius Cassades, he loves us. <laughs> Caius Cassades, he's fallen in love. All right, I'm just gonna keep declaring my love. Kiss on the mouth. Oh God, <laughs> this is weird now. This is, this is, this is getting really strange. 
No reaction. <laughs> That's his reaction to it. This is so stupid. We're only on day 23. Another couple of days. We've just been standing here, staring at each other. God, the tension has to be just ridiculous. Caress? <laughs> oh god, who recorded this? Who recorded the dialogue? Is it just stock? I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go forward like five days. <gasps> Make love. We did it. We did it. Time. Time. Speed run over. Okay. Now this is gonna get really weird. Hi, Caius. Hey, we're uh, we're here. Oh my god. Caius, what the fuck? What was that? <laughs> That's the same position the person we saw at the beginning of the video was laying in. And why did my clothes change? That's it. Caius, thank you for helping me accomplish my speed run. I am breaking up with you. Are you sure of what you're- Yeah, I was Let's only- see what you're made of. Your romance is over. Oh, he's pissed. And I believed you loved me. He dropped all the way down to 31. I only used you. Oh, he's still following me though. He's still coming after me. Now I wonder- Oh my god. Hold on. Wait, Caius. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe we shouldn't break up. Hold on. I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh no. We did the speed run, but now I need to see where this goes. Oh, I think I, I think the game broke. I think this means I'm actually pregnant. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to have a belly, a belly, but uh, yeah, this just means pregnant. In the land of Morrowind, it's never been seen before, so everybody's minds just break. When they see someone that's pregnant, they appear as a giant exclamation point. Fetus of four months. Wait, what? It's actually in my inventory? What happens if I just take it off? Can I just drop my baby? Oh! Oh! No shot! No way it actually lets me do that! Oh my god, that is horrifying. I just- I- 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 I don't- I don't even know. I just- I actually just performed an abortion on myself in Morrowind. That is quite possibly the most ridiculous thing. I can't believe I just said that out loud. In front of Caius, in the middle of the street in public, and I died doing it. That was genuinely one of the most shocking things. I don't know if I can show that. I figured it would just be like a cosmetic item and then nothing would happen. Fetus of nine months, it weighs 12 pounds. It's a big baby. I haven't slept. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? What? I'm being attacked! Caius! Help! Why is the Assassin's Creed here? Oh, not the Assassin's Creed, the Dark Brotherhood. Help, I'm a pregnant woman, Caius. Oh, this is just stupid. What is happening? Caius, please do something. You were the most useless husband. Or I guess ex-boyfriend. Ow! Ow! Help! Protect your baby, Caius! Jesus! Caius, don't let me die. How'd you even let them get in the front door? Yeah, get him, Caius. Protect me. I may have broken up with you and broken your heart, but you still care about our family more than anything. And that's all that matters. But I really can't get hit again or I'm dead. Oh, you got him. Come on, beat his ass, Caius. Holy shit, we did it. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Choose the type of the girl's name. Animal, human, elf, and orc. Animal. Argonian. Nakuma. Wait, where is the baby? Oh, oh, it's just in my inventory. Caius, I'm leaving the baby with you. It's purple. Why is its face purple? I don't, I don't think I have it done right, but... Caius, congratulations. You're now a dad. I'm off for my next adventure. And, uh... That's it. Thanks for helping me complete this challenge, man. Good luck. Oh, shit, wait, no, you can't follow me, Caius. Oh, I don't think I can get rid of him. Alright, well, Nakuma, good luck, baby. You're on your own. We're off to explore the world on our own. I, I really have no words for a lot of things that actually occurred in this mod. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to Patreons, Luke Kavara, Jack the Black, Scorch, Jordan Hart, Hammock Therapy, Arkham, and Pengy. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.